Hey y'all, Steve here from Adventure Outdoors. Yesterday I was in Lowe's. I came across a little gadget that I sit there and looked at, studied a second, and decided that, hey, I'm gonna try out the Night Eyes Cam Jam. I got it home, put it through a few tests, and this is an awesome rope tightener, especially for tarp lines. Okay, let me show you my little setup that I have here in my backyard right now. I've got my Eno hammock set up between a couple of uh, pine trees in my backyard. Now this is the Eno single nest, and I am using the Atlas straps, which are fantastic by the way. They've got a bunch of loops just all the way down, and you can select the loop that you want pop in your carabiner from your Eno and your hammock is hanging in just a matter of moments. It's a fantastic product, I love it. But what I uh, discovered is that I could also use the Night Eyes Cam Jam in conjunction with the Atlas straps for a ridge line. So in a nutshell, what I've done is basically just taken the Night Eyes Cam Jam, I've used some 550 paracord, and I have just used the clamp, I've clipped it in to just one of these Atlas strap loops. You can select either one you want, but what I've done is gone to the other side and done the same exact thing down here as you can see. And that has created a very simple, a very fast tarp line using my existing setup, no knots, nothing at all. And I'm up once again. Now I've got a tarp line set with no knots and it's up in a matter of moments. Now here is the tarp line. It's not loose. I've just got it drooped from one end to the other end. All you have to do is simply just grab one end of your paracord, start pulling it, and this cam will allow free movement of your line in one direction, but it, uh, it literally clamps it shut when you, the line tries to go the other direction. So all you have to do is grab it, pull it, and pull it as tall as you want to. And you'll see as I pull just how taut this tarp line will become. So I'm gonna put a good bit of pressure on it now. Now I've got a lot of pressure on it. The uh, packaging does not say what the cam jam is rated at. I don't know how many pounds. I couldn't find any information. I went to the website I couldn't find that, but it's heavy duty plastic. I wouldn't want to put my body weight on it, of course, but tarps and things like that, I don't think would be any problem. But look at here. This thing is tight as a banjo string now, and I can make it tighter. No knots, really simple. And I'm just a simple man. I love the simplicity of the Night Ice Cam Jam. Now here's the packaging. Um, I bought these at Lowe's Home Improvement. They were $6.68 for a pack of two. It comes with about eight feet of a uh, little paracord. And that's probably gonna be pretty much useless, but uh, when you first open it up, it's kind of helpful because they've got it rigged in there so you can see exactly how it's gonna work. They don't weigh very much at all, so I can't imagine that several of these in your backpack would cause you any kind of uh, weight issue. They're very strong, and it fits 1 16th to 3 16th line, which is two millimeter to five millimeter, according to the packaging right there. All right, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna toss line around the tree okay 
Now you're going to take your tag in. Take your tag in right here. Run it through the back of the cam jam. Right through there like so. And now you're going to just, you can pull back the little cam wheel. You can just pull it back right there. It just simply, it's got a little tab on there. Slide your line in there. You're good to go. And as you can see, it's just going to pull through there. So I'm going to take my other end and clip it right through the clip, okay? I'll give me a little more tag in right here. Give me some extra line. And now we are set on this end. All right. So this is one side of the tree gone. So let's go to the other tree and finish the tarp line. All right, now we're at the other end. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Throw it around this tree. Now I'm working with 50 feet of paracord. So I'm gonna to have to pull out a little bit of slack. I didn't want to cut this paracord. So let's find our tag in once again. We're going to run our tag in through the back side. All right, so I'm just going to pull. If I can hold on to it, I'm going to pull this 50 feet worth of line through here. You know, if I was out in the woods doing this somewhere, I probably would bring 50 feet, not knowing what my setup is. I think that would probably be pretty smart. All right, so now I've got it starting to pull a little bit tight. Once again, I'm gonna clip it again. So now we've got it, we've got it clipped. And I'm also gonna run my paracord right back through the cam the cam wheel so now we can start to put a tightener on it all right so there we go it's kind of in that initial stage let me move the camera a little bit so you can see a better view and then we'll put a good tighten on this thing all right so we've got it looped between both trees now no knots, which is awesome. And now all you have to do is pull it as tight as you want it to be. So I'm putting a tighten on it now. And I'm telling you, it's as tight as the proverbial banjo string. And I am, I'm really starting to bear into it now. It is extremely tight. Okay. I, I can't ever foresee a reason that I would want it any tighter than I have it now. So let me show you. Okay. Doing. Doing. Man, that's tight. I think I could probably hang on it, but I'm not. No knots. Tarp line with the night eyes. Cam jam. Works beautiful. All right, I decided to take this one step further and use a second set of the Night Eyes Cam Jams to hang my Kelty Noah's Tarp 12. And once again, everything that I've done has not required a single knot. Actually, I take that back just a little. I did tie one little loop knot in the uh, paracord line that came with the Cam Jam. And what I did is I took the loop right here at the center part of my Noah's uh, tarp. And all I did was run the line back through the, the clamp at the tree, ran it through the loop here at the tarp. And once again, I have used my cam jam to tighten and set my tarp right on top of the ridge line. So basically I've got this entire setup with two sets of clamps holding the tarp line from the trees. And then I used a second set of cam jams to attach the tarp to 
the ridge line and pull it nice and tight. Hey y'all, I'm Steve with Adventure Outdoors and I hope you've all enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. I'll see all of you in my next video. Now my favorite knot of all time is the Serbian spaghetti knot. And you take one loop, you pull the loop out right here. This is the knot that I use on every camping trip I ever go. All right, now you've got two knots. Some people call that the Mickey Mouse knot. But what you do is you wind it, pull it through, do an overhead loop, cross hitch, uni knot, twist it three times, and tighten. And there it is, my favorite knot, the Serbian spaghetti knot.